Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you a recipe that I've been making for many years now. It's called home style mushroom chicken with rice. It's absolutely delicious. I don't exactly know where the recipe come from because my mother made this when I was a teenager. So I don't know, you know, where to find it at, but I will talk you through absolutely everything. And, um, it's very easy, very simple ingredients. You just mix everything together, put it in the crock pot, let it cook for six to eight hours, and you're good to go. So I'm just going to show you everything you're going to need, and let's get going. Okay, guys, for this recipe, you're going to need milk. I've got about three quarters of a cup of milk here. Um, for spices, you're going to need garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, rosemary, parsley, and thyme. You can adjust these to your taste, but I've roughly got two teaspoons of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of rosemary, a teaspoon of parsley, quarter teaspoon of thyme, and a little bit of salt. You're going to need about a half of an onion. I've just got it diced. You're going to need about a cup of spinach. Um, we don't really go through that uh, through spinach a lot, so I just normally just chop it up and keep it in the freezer. So you're going to need about a cup of that. One celery. Depending on how big your carrots are, you're going to need between one and two. I've got two fairly small carrots in here, but if they're bigger, you're going to need one. You're going to need about a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of rice. You're going to need about four slices of bacon, and this is to top the um, dish with when it's done. You're going to need a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, a large can of cream of mushroom soup, and of course your chicken. Now you can use whatever you want. We're going to use legs today, but you can use chicken breast, chicken thighs, um, bone in, bone out, skinless, whatever you want. You can use turkey. Um, so yeah, let's get this going and get this in the crock pot. Okay, we're going to start off with our soup mixture. I just like to mix everything in a bowl because it makes it a lot easier. Um, and plus you won't scratch up your crock pot. Um, so we're going to start off with our milk. rice, Worcestershire sauce, had a piece of rosemary in there, your spinach, celery, carrots, onion, and your spices. Now you're just going to mix all of this together really well. Make sure all of the spices are really well incorporated. Break up that spinach a little bit. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add in our chicken. Just add those right on in there. Kind of spread them out a little bit. And then you can go in with your soup mixture and just pour that right over the top. Spread that around. Kind of mix it in just a little bit. So all of that chicken is coated. Now 
Now just put on your lid. You can set it to low for six to eight hours or you can put it on high for four to six hours. And then you're just gonna let this cook. And then I will meet you right back here when it's done. Okay guys, I have uh, just turned this down to warm. It's been about four hours. I'm going to go ahead and add my bacon on top. You can do this um, when you plate it up. Um, however you want, it's up to you. I'm just going to throw this on top real quick because it's all going to get mixed up anyway. But um, I've got some green beans to go with this. I'm going to go ahead and plate this up and I will meet you right back here. Okay guys, I've got it right here. I've just got two pieces of chicken with some green beans. Um, these are just uh, lightly seasoned green beans. I just put them with a little bit of chicken broth, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and then just cook them for about 10 minutes. They were frozen green beans, by the way. Um, and then just put them on the side with the chicken. But you can pair this however you want because there is rice in here. I didn't really want to put another starch um, with it, but however you serve it is completely up to you. It's delicious either way. And this gravy, if you do cook it, uh, cook mashed potatoes with it, this gravy goes really well with it. Um, I would just not add the rice in. So. I am going to try to get some of this chicken. Now this chicken is very tender and it smells absolutely delicious. Very hot. I literally just took this out of the crock pot as soon as it was done because I'm starving. <laughs> so let's get this. Mm. That sauce is amazing. So good. And that chicken is very, very tender. So guys, I hope you give this recipe a try. It's actually very delicious. It's super easy to make. You just throw it all in the crock pot, let it cook. Um, depending on if you use chicken breast or thighs or chicken legs, it depends on how long it cooks. I used the chicken legs or the drumsticks. It cooked about two and a half hours and it was completely done. I just left it in there for three hours because I kind of got sidetracked. But however the case, it turns out just fine. Um, if you want to do chicken breast thighs or uh, turkey breast or turkey legs, whatever you want to use is fine. It goes well with either one. I also want to ask you guys if you want more of a vlog style um, recipe type thing or do you want me to throw in some what I eat in a days um, because I am currently on a weight loss journey. Even though I am cooking these, I do enjoy these meals. When I cook them, I cook them for my family. But however, I was just wanting to ask you guys if you wanted some what I eat in a days or do you want uh, more vlog style cooking uh, type videos. Uh, just let me know in the comment section down below and I hope you give this recipe a try. Let me know also in the comment sections down below if you did. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.